Yes, is that Professor Home? Yes. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the new teacups? Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. Lost in the dark, you have to go deeper to find your way out. Lightkeeper. Hmm. Most intriguing. Highly That's irregular. Strange. So, if the lightkeepers could get the rock, and they knew we wanted it, that means that uh, they must be someone who. Harold, it's late, and we've had enough excitement for one day. Let's leave the theories until tomorrow. Sure. Somebody's listening. Eh? I'm just happy that whoever they are. They're on our side. So it seems for now. Good night, Harold. See you in the morning. Okay. Night, Professor. Time to sleep. I tired. I had a long day today. Gosh, whoever made that leak must be feeling pretty terrible right now. I'm glad it wasn't me messing up for once. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I can't sleep with that racket. Still didn't turn the light out. Date 2252AC. After crash. Harold, 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 Harold. And what time do you call this? Uh, good morning, Professor. The time is... I know what the time is. There's lots to be done. How are we going to find out who the light keepers are? I'm just as curious as you, Harold, but we have better things to do. I suppose you're right. How can I help? You can start by taking the rock to Bridget. She'll make the necessary preparations for analysis, which you should be able to handle. Okay, great. I'll get right on it. And Harold, try to remember that whoever the lightkeepers are, our jobs here are to make life more stable for the people here, not less. I know. I know. I'll get going. Let's go see Bridget. I'm a glorified delivery man. Glorify because I can run like. Still can't pinpoint the name. Pingu? Comes to mind. Energy. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. I thank you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Contaminant detected. Close your eyes. Procedure will begin in three, two. Please do not panic. I haven't. There she is. Hello there, Bridget. Why do you step back? I've just been... Hi, Bridget. Are you ready to rock, Harold? I Hell yeah. Here. Ready. With rock. Oh, Harold, you can be such a killjoy sometimes. Anyway, it's going to take a while to analyze this little guy, so I'll send for you when it's ready. Oh, okay. Great. Thanks, Bridget. Oh, Harold? While you're here, maybe you could help me with a little something? Uh, maybe, but don't you think... Now, now, you'll do quite well. There's a little experiment I've been wanting to run. The remote control of the conveyors isn't working right now. My theory is Cyrus and his mugs of tea that he always forgets about before knocking over. So I need your help to manually control them. Can do. I'll be in here recording and analyzing the data. Right, see that button over there? The big one next to the conveyors starts and stops them. I think I can handle that. Yes, well, don't get cocky. 
I'll give you more detailed instructions of the loudspeakers as we go along. Press some buttons. Let me through, please. Thank you. Okay, so, there are three different types of organisms on the conveyor. Each is a different color. Are they pretty? See, yeah. don't I make life easy for you? But I want you to focus on the red ones for now, since we're comparing their data to past readings. Red ones. I got it. I'd be worried if you didn't. Anyway, pop them under the Could green machine blank. next to you and stop the conveyor, please. Harold, please, we haven't got all day. Okay. Okay, great. On to the next step. Now, you see the analysis machine? Go start it up. The machine's UI is pretty easy. There are just two buttons. One to chop the sample, and one to coat it in our lovely space bacteria mix. Chop and coat. I see. Right. I'll be prepping the actual data recording in the meantime. I'll let you know exactly when to start the process. Wait for my command. Just like comedy, timing is everything here. Okay. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Now. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Okay, we need two more readings to have a representative data set. Okay. So we'll go backwards and forwards. Sounds fun. Nice one. Now on to the next step. What a great job. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Okay, great. Now show me what you got. Hmm, intriguing. Just the one left now. Talk into rocks. I thought I was crazy. Okay, great. On to the next step. Last one. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Nice one, Harold. That's everything we need. Right. Meet me back at the control room and we can look over the results together. Beautiful. We cut some rocks. I'm a geologist. These results... It looks like our catalytic bacteria is starting to have diminishing returns on the energy output. That's not good, right? No, but it also doesn't make much sense. Why would the bacteria have been fine until now? I'm not the best person to ask. What could have changed? I'm not sure. I've run the tests. The key variables, pH level, density, etc., are all stable on the bacteria. We're using the same organic matter for it to convert. And I've been double-checking the filters. They're filtering at the same levels as always. I mean, could something outside the ship be to blame? It is possible that somehow the organic matter is being affected before it hits the filters. But none of the tests we've run on the matter itself shows any key variants. Hmm, strange. Are the energy returns diminishing very badly? I'm not panicking yet, Harold. It's just a trend we can't let continue indefinitely. Unless we can miraculously find a whole new system for producing energy. Not panicking at all. Oh. Oh dear. I should get back to Moreau, but just let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'll keep you posted, Harold. And thanks. Oh, welcome-o. Oh, 
water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate the wetness. Let's go see the professional. Professor. Professor. Where is it? Okay. Not in that. In my bedroom. No fun. Unclog the filter again. Okay. People need to stop shitting so much. Fixing, cleaning, fixing, running around and fetching stuff, cleaning stuff. It could be worse, but there must be more. More to life? Cleaning, fixing, running all around. Wait, what's that sound? Isn't there more? to life I clean and I fix till my legs feel like bricks my best friend is a mop I work till I drop and for what? no medals or treats I don't get silk sheets but oh I'm the first guy they call for a leak there must be more to life I could be an artiste, my name would be fetid, or a chef whose every dish was celebrated. But maybe this is my destiny, trouble and strife. And perhaps that's okay. At the end of the day, what more could there be to life? Okay. Oh, sorry, Harold. Ah, hey, yeah, hey, Tommy. Sorry, you startled me. I'm a bit startled myself. What brings you to the filter station? Just, you know, I should probably be going. But you just got here. Anything I can help you with? I, I was just looking for filter Frankie, but I guess he's not around. That guy can be slipperier than a jelly deal. Yeah, I've never even met him. Righto, I'll be going now. See you, Harold. Okay, bye, Tommy. I think he heard me singing. Message from Bridget. Sample has been prepared and ready for your analysis. Got a good feeling about this one. Sure. Let's see a message. Fine cocoa, okay. Fine cocoa eventually. All 
Hunter compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Contaminant, D do not try to taste the disinfectant. <laughs> Why would I taste this it? Commences in three. Oh my god. Robots are cool. Well, hello, Bridget. Hey, Bridget. Oh, hey, Harold. Done with the sample already? Hmm? I'm here for the sample. You silly goose. I messaged you saying I sent it to the sample shop. Oh, sorry. I missed it somehow. That is what the conveyor system is for. To save us from running all over the place the whole time. I know. I guess I just... Did you really think I'd make you come all the way back here to pick it up? No, I mean, I probably... It'd be madness. People running around, fetching stuff by hand. None of us would get anything done. Yeah, my bad. I'll go get it from the shelf. Although, while you're here... Thanks, Bridget. Sorry to bother you. Bye. La la, though. I think Harold's getting fed up. Running around after everyone. I can't say I'm surprised. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest and all water will make it up to you. Fantastic. Will I give him money back? Doubt it. Have a look in here. Where is it? Stick it in, see what it looks like. Right now, let's take a look what all the fuss is about. Marline? Hmm. Oh, yes. I see. Very big marks. A dense rockiness. Troubling, uh, strata. Implications huge for origin of it. Possible comet fragment. Judging by the composition, could have been from far away. Mm hmm. That is. Ah! Professor, you scared me. This is. We've been thinking all along about. This data suggests. Hmm. But. Huh, that would contradict. Hmm. The potential implications. What is it, Professor? It's these readouts. I think I know what they mean. Oh, what have they told you? The rock strata looks like carbonaceous chondrite. Rare, but the aminos, backdating. It's a countdown. Great, for what? Our relaunch window. The sample finally reveals a pattern. And it means there's a two-year gap between the otherwise constant solar wind storms. We're approaching that window. Fast. And if we miss it? We wait. For 80 years. Most of us won't get to see the next one. Wow. So can you work out how long we have? If my calculations are correct, we're fast approaching the end of the current two-year calm period. In fact, I make it exactly 89 days we have left. Do you think we'll make it? Hmm. Not unless we find a miraculous source of energy to properly power the ship. I doubt it. I need to double-check some of this data urgently. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, Professor. I'll leave you be. Hmm. Okay. What's next? Countdown. Okay. 
Yo, Harry, it's Felix. I got some big info. Meet me at the Agora Arcades tonight. Alright. Now I can just not go now. More fun. Run, Harold! Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? No. Hey, hey Felix. I'm here. What's with the secret? Shh. Wait. I can't tell you anything with all these people around. Uh, okay. We have to wait until everyone leaves? Yes, that's the deal. Okay. Well, I wish I'd known. I would have brought a book or something. What are you reading? Oh, just the latest in the Fedora 4 series. Is that the beast from below? Oh, no. It's Persephone's Lament. Oh, I thought the beast from below was the latest one. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look. Is that Cherry Bafflesop? Who's that? Come on, you don't know Cherry Bafflesop? The food critic from The Chronicle? I'm a kid. I don't read newspapers. Well, the cartoons, obviously. And I quite like the Agony on column, actually. I think that might be Cherry, too. Oh. So, do you ever think it's strange? All these people, all their own homes, lives, thoughts? Maybe they don't even know we exist. Well, I mean, they can see us. Yes, but that's not always the same thing, is it? Oh, I suppose not. So, how's school? Why? Did Mr. Tenenbaum ask you to spy on me? Chris? No. I was only wondering. School, school. I try to concentrate, but it just seems pointless. I mean, what do you need to learn to do what my dad does? And I'm sure they're not teaching us about what my mom does. But you need to just learn in general. You can't just know what you need to learn yet. Huh. I just feel like I learn more by exploring myself. Well, can't you do both? You can always explore, but you can't always get someone like Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnebaum, spending all day helping you learn. Huh. I suppose it would be cool to know everything. Good evening, Fedorans. The old water tube system will shortly be closing okay, for the night. Okay, it's time. Please I hope it's worth the, the wait. Oh, it is. Coast Get is clear. Follow me. Just move. Somewhere. This, my friend, is the Tunnel of Secrets. <laughs> it looks like a Chamber exploration of shaft. A small, dark one. Sure, that's what they want you to think. Come on! Come on, Harold. Where's your sense of adventure? It's pretty cozy in here. Just follow me. And trust me. So you promise you won't tell anyone about this? Promise? I mean, who would I tell? Moreau? She'd just say I'm making up tall tales again. Well, I think you'd better tell me a secret anyway, just so we're even. Um, okay. I guess that's only fair. Well, one time I dropped something into one of the filters, so I had to... Oh shit. Wow, you. <sighs> okay, yeah, that'll do. They had to walk. Felix, come on. Can't you tell me where we're headed? Good things come to those who wait. If I go the other way, I start. Meh. It's buzzing out. Meh. Am 
Mas estamos fácil então, também. How well do you know these tunnels, Felix? We're not lost, are we? Okay, trust me, I've been exploring these for ages now. Whenever my parents are away or yeah, I need quiet space. There's so much of the station people don't know about. I mean, could they even fit? <laughs> Probably not. And you call them fat? They, they can't be that bad. Oh, they're fine, just so busy always. And they let me get away with a lot. You could try not getting into trouble in the first place. Oh, come on, don't tell me you're a goody two shoes. <laughs> I tell the professor would think I am. She's not your mama, right? Nope. But she's been kind of like one. Hmm, so what about your. Are you sure we're not lost? Not long now, don't worry. I hope not. I wonder what's at the end of this tunnel. The background's cool. Women with the fishes. Or the alien fishes. Seems like there's a lot more in the background than what we're actually going through in this game. What do we have here? Oh. I know, right? I have never looked at it this way before. We only had the same stuff to look at, mostly. Gotta try find new angles. Huh. Did you read that somewhere? No, I don't think so anyway. Here. Uh, not for me, thanks. And not for you. Relax, it's just gum. Smoking is a dumb adult thing anyway. Oh. Okay. I'll take one, thanks. They call him the Scout. A man who dared to go where others wouldn't or couldn't. He wasn't one for the limelight, but he was good at his job. He mapped out new lands. The lightkeepers made him an offer. Work for us, they said. A lesser man would have taken the money. But the Scout works best alone. He can't be bought. I gave this Only the Scout. Sees things for what they really are. Looks to the watery horizon while everyone else stares at their shoes. If only they understood. The scout is a legend. We've been trying to track him down for years. If anyone can find him, it's you, Agent Harrelson. So, what do you think is going to happen now that Earth is okay? Everyone wants to go back, but... Yeah, it'll take a while, right? Too long. Let's move on. Um. We're getting to now. This seems like a good kid to Felix. I wish you could go faster, but, you know, it's fine. That is a drop down. Be careful, Harold. Oh. Harold! No, that was gonna happen. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Took out the first. But everything is going cold. Ah, you probably landed in a condensation puddle. Where am I? How do I get out of here, Felix? I I'm not sure, but good luck and we'll meet up later. <laughs> I don't let anyone see you. We can't blow our cover. Okay, Felix. You take care now. Ha! Says the man who dived into a shallow puddle. See ya! Peace, brother. Get out of the shaft alive. You could be dangerous. Oh, no. Yes, I am yes. I am above the sea. 100%. And let me circle back to you on the... Oh, Slipmire. Please do sit down and come in. Ah, uh, Madam CEO, have I got news for you? I should certainly hope so. Time is money, and I can't spend time on empty chatter. 
It's a perilous, a palpable public perception problem. Well, now you've had a chance to test my new super chill air con system. Have you given my start procedure idea any more thought? Surely you don't want to rely entirely on Cyrus. Yes, about that. I can still hear those blasted mice in the vents. So it can't be that cold and therefore not that efficient. If the system can't scare some mice, how's it going to form the basis of a relaunch? Hmm, I don't want to presume, but did you turn it up to max? Yes, up to 10. Ah, I thought so. You see, this one goes to 11. Well, why wouldn't you just make 10? <sighs> Whatever. Will you do the honors? Of course. You just gotta click the dial past the little bit of resistance. Like so. Give it a few minutes to kick in, and those mice will be micicles! Good. Perhaps you should work on a prototype. We're going to treat people to a little public demonstration in 10 <coughs> days. Get the public buy-in, perhaps even a vote. Hmm, it seems like there's hope for your aircon yet. Those mice are feeling the chill. Yes! I think, I mean, I'd love another day or two to tweak the cooling coefficient. No extra days. This has already gone on long enough. We need to be seen to act. You know me, I'm all about moving fast. But not too fast. We can't cut corners on this. The stakes are too high. I'll keep it on the straight and narrow. But if you can, find a way to speed it up. Say no more, Madam CEO. Just wait until that demonstration. You'll see. Now about those all-water co-branded mittens we discussed. I can't stay in here any longer. I'll, I'll become a herald sickle. Herald sickle. Is this the bathroom? I guess the aircon really is efficient around here. What a day. Time for bed. Go to bed, little Harold. Harold, where have you been? Sorry, excuse me. Come on, let's get some tea in you. Thanks, Professor. That does sound nice. Good luck, cup of tea. bedroom be like that. So, where have you been? And don't say you got stuck in the filter pipes again. Uh, no. Well, there was a puddle, but... It's okay. You're here now. That's the important thing. <laughs> oh dear. Do have some tea. It makes everything better. Ah, uh, yes, I think I will. He's just sneezed into it, so... Uh, warm. You need to remember to look after yourself. A stitch in time saves nine. I do. I just... This was, um... Extraneous circumstances. Extenuating circumstances? What exactly have you been up to? Well, it's hard to explain, but... I was with Felix. He showed me the vents. They were nice. But then I fell through a grate next to the CEO's office. From what I could overhear, I think something pretty serious is going on between Slippy and Mrs. Castlechop. Slippy? I hardly think he's her type. No, 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 not, not romantically. It sounded like Slippy was working on his own relaunch procedure. What? That would be most vexing. Why would Castlechop have told us about this? I don't know. Maybe Slippy himself wants to keep it secret for some reason. Well, I don't have much hope that Slippy would solve the problem, but it could be disastrous if he convinced the CEO that he could. 
I wonder whether those light keepers are aware of this. It seems probable. What I can't deduce yet is what their agenda is. Yeah. Things have been crazy, though, with them, all the all-water news, the rock, now this. Yes, very irregular, not at all fitting with the usual models. Perhaps it's all connected somehow. Oh, could be. Did Slippy or the CEO say anything about what the procedure would be? Not really. All I could tell is that it somehow involved Slippy's patented aircon system. Intriguing. Well, if this baffling pattern keeps up, I'm sure we'll find some new perplexing puzzle pieces soon. I'll keep my ears to the ground. Yes, you do that. Just watch out for puddles. Ha! Huh. I'll do my best. Well, let's sleep on it. You look like you could use some. Sounds good, Professor. Achoo! Good night. Night, Harold. And don't catch a cold, please. I'll Bit try not that. to. Night. Go to bed. Lovely. That was not how I imagined today to go. Hopefully tomorrow will be nice and normal again. No surprises, no excitement, just good old routine. Achoo! Uh, that darn air con. Achoo! Well, you wanted more for life. You got it. I better not wake up with the cold. Nine days left until the launch window closes. Uh, oh dear. What's that? Oh, that darn alarm waking me up from my swim and dreamies. Maybe it's just a test. I don't think so. Uh, seems like something is up. Better go check the lab console and see nothing has exploded. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 